Hi guys, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we have a empowering tutorial on unlocking privacy in the digital world. In this guide we will walk you through the process of hosting a .onion website using the powerful tool OnionShare. If you are eager to take control of your online presence and ensure maximum security, you are in the right place. So let's dive in. Before we proceed, it's important to emphasize that this tutorial is strictly for educational purposes only. The goal is to empower you with the knowledge on how to utilize tools like OnionShare responsibly. Understanding the problems of OnionShare, webs Onion websites and the Tor network. Using these skills ethically and within legal boundaries is crucial. Always respect privacy, adhere to laws and consider the implications of the content you choose to share. Now, let's continue our educational journey into hosting a .onion website with OnionShare. First of all, let's go to the Chrome web browser and search for OnionShare. This will take us to a OnionShare website and there we can easily download the onion share for windows version here i chose windows version you can also download it for your mac or linux machine okay then download is finished let's install this application Okay, here we can see the installation process is going on and we should accept it and we should click on next. It will take few minutes to finish the entire installation process. So after the installation process is done, then click on finish and go to start and search for onion share. Open onion share from here. So here comes our onion share application. We should turn this on and let's connect. After connecting to the onion share, you can see four menus here. The first one is share files and the second one is receive file. So from here you can send and receive file with full encryption with throughout privacy. So no, no another person will get to know what you are sharing, what you are receiving with full privacy. You, you can share whatever you want. And the third option is what we are going to use that is host a website. It is just simple nothing but just drag and dropping a HTML file which will convert this application will convert the HTML file into .onion and it will host the HTML file as .onion automatically. We don't need to struggle anything uh, to host the entire website on onion just like WordPress. We also have one more option to chat anonymously. With this option you can chat to anyone anonymously and but now we are going to host a website. Uh, we are just going back by closing this tab and going to host a dot onion website. For that click on host a website and here we need to drag and drop a html file. 
For that we are going to create a HTML file in our desktop. For creating a .html file, let's go to VS Code from here. Here we opened our VS Code and we are going to create a .html file in our desktop. So click on add option and create a new file. Give the file name which you want with the .html extension. And we are going to type something like hello tour. Let's type something like this is a demo website or something whatever you want just write it uh, we are going to host and test it only and again I am repeating this is only for educational purposes only don't use this illegally and with this you can achieve your privacy. Now let's go to our file manager and open desktop so that we can find the new newly created file here we can see the newly created file we are going to drag and drop this file into the tour um, onion share okay done okay now we are dragging and dropping this file we need to check some more options to enable it, this to public so another person with this link can easily access this website okay not the, yeah this one then another one no nothing J just start hosting that's it it is creating a unique link for us with an onion extension yeah that's it. Uh, they have created a unique URL for us with a dot onion extension which can be only opened via Tor browser but here I don't have a Tor browser so let's go and download a Tor browser and install it first so for installing Tor browser let's search Tor download and we can find the official Tor browser website. We can download the, download the latest version of Tor browser from here. And here I am going to download for Windows. Yes, as we can see that the download is almost finished. and this is a portable version to our OLED we don't need to install it we just uh, need to right click and open this tour browser it is a portable version so we are going to open this tour browser now okay we can minimize this and close this one and let's wait for the tour browser to open up yeah I just need English only okay click on next sorry guys this is opening this is installing sorry this is installing I thought this was a portable version but it is installing in my laptop So our Tor browser is installed successfully and let's click on finish to end up, end up this procedure. Now wait for the Tor browser to open automatically. guys it is taking too much time to open yeah it's open now um, what should I do yeah 
okay now we are going to connect to the tor network as you can see tor browser is very slow it is connecting very slow in my laptop yes almost over just some few more seconds to connect okay the connection has been established successfully here we can paste the dot onion extend uh, the here we can paste the website with the dot onion as extension copy this address and paste it on your tor browser even the small website is taking too much time to load Uh, our file name is dot index, not index.html that's why it asked to choose the file name later we will after this we can change the file name to index.html and re-upload again with a new content let's try that too okay here our html file here is our html file let's rename it as index.html okay now open with vs code and edit your content content type something like blah 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 uh, let's make it as h1 and put it in sender okay now we should upload this new index file okay we have uploaded the index file and let's start the host again now paste the link here uh, we just need to refresh the connection that's it oh okay okay we didn't paste the new link we should copy and paste the new link which uh, every time when we are going to host the website they will give a new unique link so we should paste the new link here yeah that's it we, we got it so this is how you can host a dot onion website which gives you full privacy on which can be accessed only through tor browser also as you can see that we cannot open this uh, dot onion website in any some random web browser other than tor browser okay guys congratulations you have successfully hosted a dot onion website using onion share if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more privacy focused tech guides thanks for watching and see you in the next one